All right, everybody, welcome back and thank you for watching. Today we're going to look at a simple DCA strategy and uh, how to get yourself out of DCA if you're deep and bags in the negative and uh, you have very little balance left. How do you get yourself out? And how do you uh, use DCA uh, for those of you who are not using stop loss? How do you use DCA and make sure you can get out of DCA if you need to. Okay, so let's get started. Um, we are going to look at um, our settings, specifically our DCA uh, settings. And um, let's see, let's pick. I have two bots, as you know. One of the bots is in heavy bags, and the other bot was using stop loss, so it doesn't have any bags at this time. <clears throat> but we're going to focus on the bot that's not using stop loss. Um, a lot of us are not using stop loss and are using DCA, but sometimes, as we know, the market crashes, and we end up like this, like this bot, and we need to, we want to get out of DCA. The problem is sometimes your balance is too, uh, your remaining balance is not enough to where if you turn off sale only mode, you run out of balance very quickly. So first of all, how do you, if you're using DCA, how do you make sure every pair has enough on your balance? So let's start by calculating that. Uh, you have your total balance. Um, minus your keep balance so total total balance balance minus your uh, reserve your reserve balance So if your total balance was 1,000 uh, minus, uh, let's say your reserve was 20%, uh, which is, uh, so your start balance would be $800 or euros or whichever currency you're using. So. How do I know how much to DCA on a coin? What's what's the maximum DCA for each coin? So you take the 800, your start balance, you divide it by the number of coins that you will be trading. This is your max coins in your pairs file. So if your uh, max coins in your pairs file was 5, you divide this by 5 and uh, you get $160 or euros per coin. So you're trading five coins. The maximum amount that a coin should DCA is $160 if you're using $1,000. Now, uh, you might say, well, what does that matter? Not all coins are going to DCA maximum. That's true. So that means you'll just have more of your reserve here to get them out of DCA. So I'm going to use my simple spreadsheet to show that same example. This is a simple DCA maximum calculator. Uh, if you have your total balance that you started with was a thousand and in example, our example, we did 20%. So our available starting balance is 800. 
and we have $200 in reserve. So if we trade five coins, then maximum DCA per coin is 160. If we trade six coins, 133. If we trade seven coins, 114. If we trade 10 coins, then we can only DCA up to $80 per coin. So let's go with our example of 500. It'll be 160. Well, let's say your total balance was a little bit more. 2000 maybe then your max DCA per coin would be $320 now you can also put this instead of putting these numbers in dollars you can put them in bitcoins you can say I have 0 0.2 bitcoins so you'd have 0 0.16 bitcoins and your maximum DCA per coin would be 0 0.027 bitcoins. Okay. So now let's go back to our example. Before we start DCAing, if we were starting afresh with no trades, we would make our max cost here be the same as max DCA per coin. This will be in our DCA file. So max DCA per coin would be 0 0.02 bitcoins, 0 0.026 bitcoins. Uh, the max times really does not matter if you have the max cost because even if the max times is 20, it won't reach 20 if it runs out of max cost. So if by DCA number four, it already hit the max cost, then it'll stop. It won't go past four, it won't go to five, and it won't reach 20. So you can turn this one off, or uh, you can leave it the way it is. It doesn't matter. What we're focused on is this one, the max cost. Once we have the max cost, it will buy coins. It'll buy up to five coins maximum, which was our max. This will be in your pairs file. It'll buy up to six coins maximum. Set this in your pairs file, six coins. And so, four, five, six. It'll buy six coins maximum. And uh, if I had taken my own advice here, each coin would have stopped if it got to uh, 0 0.026 bitcoins. So um, then after that, now what if you were trading that way and you got into the market crashed and you got into bags? Your bot went on sell only mode up here and you went into bags. How would you get out of the bags? Well, because remember, first, we have a reserve. All right, maybe 20%, it may be less, but we have a reserve. We're going to use that reserve to get out of the bags, but we're going to do it in a slightly different way. We're gonna do it in a smart way. So we're gonna pick just one coin and focus on that one coin and get it out of DCA. So what I mean is, let's pick, uh, I was looking at XMR right here, Moreno. It's at negative 10. It's the one that's closest to the top, to, to zero. If we go into your Binance or your Bittrex or your trading view, whichever you prefer, here is uh, XMR. Uh, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for is it down going back up or does it look like it's up going back down? Here we can see the trend down, up, down, up, down. So it looks like it might, chances are high that it might go up. You can never be 100% sure, but it's always good to look at the chart. So we could use this. We could start with. Uh, XMR Moreno or we could pick the lowest one at the bottom EOS at 27 and try to DCA to the top 
or my strategy would be uh, two ways either one you pick the one at the top that looks like it's gonna go back up a bit or you pick the one that has the the lowest drop in 24 hours so we have a 24 hour change this is PPT at negative 14.04 it has the lowest drop in 24 hours the reason is it has a higher chance of in fact it's actually going up you can see it went up to 1365 it has a higher chance of going up at least maybe five or six percent which that is all we need for DCA it might go even higher maybe even nine percent back to four so let's look at PPT on our trade it, uh, trading view PPT BTC okay so it looks like it hit a low here this was uh, it hit a low four days ago four to five days ago it hit a low uh, it went up a little bit three days ago went down and then went up uh, 24 hours ago and then came back down so it might it looks like it's hit a low and it might go back up but it, you're never you're never too sure um, let's see let's look at the history so it was really high and it, this is probably where the, the Bitcoin crashed and it just went all the way down and uh, it looks like it might go up so I want to try and get this out of DCA we are going to focus on one coin and it's going to be this one right here so uh, it doesn't matter if you're using a uh, PT1 or 2 uh, I'm just using one because it's my this is the bot that has the bags the other one doesn't have bags the next thing you'd want to do is um, our max cost was 0 0.026 and uh, you can put whatever number you want here as long as you have that and then uh, the next thing you want to do is look for ignore cell only mode here copy it make another copy and then we're going to focus on PPT and make that true so we're gonna make PPT true and then we're gonna take this max cost also and we're going to do PPT DCA max cost and we're going to increase the max cost for this just this one coin to we're going to do 0 0.60 or you, you can give it much more however much you want to uh, just increase that number so after you increase that number you're going to save and what will happen is this coin will go off sell only mode and will start to trail and try to DCA. So let's see what happens here. Okay, so now we can see that PPT BTC has started uh, trailing. Uh, which is exactly what we wanted and there's the DCA that just happened and which made it rise all the way up as soon as I turned it on so we've DCA'd one 
and we're going to wait and we're going to hope that this uh, turns around and goes up and that way we just like that we went from uh, down here in the 20s and we went up to 14 this 24 hour change has gone up to 12 as we predicted and we just need for it to keep going up maybe to 10 or 8 in DCA one or two more times and we should be out of DCA and once that DCA sells you have more balance and then we'll pick a second coin and do the same thing and DCA all the way up and then we have more balance and pick another coin and DCA all the way up and have more balance so we'll DCA them one at a time so that's it for uh, for now we're gonna wait and see how it does if it continues to DCA and once it sells we will start the next one okay welcome back so just checking back on the DCA progress we see that it has now DCA uh, for a third time PPT has risen all the way from the bottom to the top the 24 hour uh, keeps going up back to 10 um, DCA is up to 764 we probably just need maybe one or two more DCA's and we'll probably be in the green so I uh, will uh, check back after uh, some more time has passed okay we're back and we are checking on the bot we're checking on our coin PPT the progress is great it is now at negative 0.56 we have made a lot of progress on this one um, we still have a balance uh, it's at max buy times I increased this just a little bit more to DCA one more time and see what happens so it's been uh, the time at the bottom uh, 952 my time that means since the last time we checked we checked at around 7 00 p.m. so it's been about almost three hours and uh, we'll give it some more time and check back okay everyone we're back looks like we are now in the green finally and the time is 1024 uh, 30 minutes since the last check roughly I believe and we are now in the green so let's hold on for a minute and follow it and see if our trailing triggers work and see if our first DC8 is sold at a profit okay our bot finally sold the coin PPT and so now we have one two three four five left one down five to go uh, now we can go back and choose another coin before I forget you have to go go back quickly into your uh, profit trailer GUI um, this is just my example and you need to comment out the parts that we added for P PPT since we have sold PPT we need to comment those out so that it doesn't accidentally uh, rebuy the coin again so turn those off or even delete them depending on just decide on what you want to do uh, before we go on to the next coin 